Uh, and to play with a guy like, like Gussie up back there on D made it a lot easier for me to start off with, and uh, we'll just see how it goes. Could you kind of maybe like describe your style of play for someone who hasn't seen you, you play? Now, your, your two games were up in Newfoundland. There's not a lot of guys who made the trip there. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I don't really know. I guess I'm, uh, I'm like an all-around defenseman, you know. I, I like to play hard nose, but I, I also like to play in the offense. So uh, I guess whatever, whatever the situation merits, I can uh, kind of adjust my game, I think, to it. You got up there a couple of times. I, I saw you going deep in the corner, and I said, hey, you saw the space, you went for it. Yeah, it's, it's been a while since I've scored a goal, so, you know, I was trying to help out there on the offense, and uh, yeah, that's part of my game, and that's kind of what Coach emphasizes, you know, get the D up in the play as well. So uh, so I try to get up there and, uh, and have some fun with those guys. How was your hand feeling? Terry kind of hinted that you were battling your way through it a little bit out of necessity. Yeah, it was... Uh, it, when uh, Biz went down there, it, uh, I got to hop in. But uh, you know, you just guys are playing through everything, so you know I'm not the only one. But uh, it's, good. it's coming along good. How do you like the group of guys that you're, you're joining here? I mean, you know a little bit about what it takes to, to have that kind of character for a championship run. Yeah, definitely. I like the guys. We got a great room, and, uh, and we seem to be pretty close already. So I think that's, uh, that's what really helps teams win is uh, closeness, and, uh, and I think we're coming along well. You went to you went through St. John's last year to get to the uh, to get to the finals, right? So you been there at the Eastern Conference team, right? So I was like, well, good yeah. to get back up there. Yeah, yeah, we had some good memories up there, so it was uh, it was fun to get back up there. But uh, I mean, they had a lot of the same guys in there, but it was uh, you know it's a lot different this year. Sure, absolutely. I mean, there's so much turnover in the league. Uh, this team and St. John's are kind of the two teams that really didn't seem to have a lot. Of yeah, it seems like a lot of the guys are uh, left over from last year there and, and playing against these guys last year in uh, Adirondack. There's a lot of the same guys, so uh, a lot of a lot of similar faces. That, that, that 28th and that last game that you guys won last year, that was here in, in, in this building. And, and so, uh, you know... Uh, were, did, were, you, were you in the lineup for that one? Or, uh? Yeah, I was. I was uh, sitting in the penalty box actually watching that. And, <laughs> and Ben Holmstrom still thinks he scored that goal, but uh, we watched it on, we watched it on replay a couple He's times. Not and, him. Yeah, and uh, I don't think it was a goal. At least they didn't count it. So, <laughs> did you uh, did you play with Manjean at all at Maine? Yep, I played with him for two years. So uh, yeah, we had we had some good times up there. We had a pretty good run up there too, but uh, just came a little short. These guys that are standing behind you here, did you know them uh, beforehand? Yep, I grew up uh, I grew up playing with Ben since we were probably, I don't know, squirts, 10 years old, and uh, grew up all the way through, and then we played against each other in college, and then Mike Testweed came and played with us in midgets, so we've been good friends all since, uh, since we were young. It's kind of a weird reunion here, you guys, uh, you know, since you're little kids. Ben's giving you a hard time back there. Yeah, it was funny, you know, <laughs> playing against them all last year, and, and now I'm living with these guys, I can't get away from them, but, uh, but yeah, it's awesome to have some really good friends on the team, and uh, just makes the transition that much easier. It's funny how small the world hockey is. Yeah, definitely, it's funny, we, uh, we come all the way across the country and we're still living together, so it's, it's funny. Um, Terry mentioned that you know, it's kind of hard to find right-hand shooter defensemen. Do you feel like that gives you an edge at all? Yeah, I mean, I, th I think it's good for me. We we don't have many right-handed defensemen here, and, and they're hard to find out there. So I'm glad my parents stuck a right-hand stick in my hand. <laughs> um, oh, uh. How do you adjust to the city here? You know, because I mean, obviously having these guys kind of helps a little bit because they've been here for a while. So. Yeah, yeah, they know the lay of the land, so I just kind of ride around with them and uh, and just feed off them. But you know, they've been kind of steering me in the wrong direction a couple times, but that, that's all right. Uh, the other thing I think that might help you is you know uh, this is only your, your second full year in the league, but you already got a 13 games uh, playoff experience under your belt, and that's uh, something that this team has really had a lot. Of, so. Yeah, definitely. I, uh, I was lucky enough the first year to play with Portland there in the uh, in the playoffs. And we went uh, all the way to the second round, so that was a lot of fun. And then last year, I got uh, played in uh, almost every series there, and uh, it was good to get some games in the finals and uh, in the conference finals. So it, uh, I guess I have some playoff experience, and hopefully it comes in handy.